Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. I'm really excited about this new product and it is Fireworks, which is part of our VFX Elements lineup. Fireworks has 25 really beautiful and very realistic firework animations and they include particles and volumes which have the smoke trails as well. When you make the purchase, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download the starter pack and inside you're gonna have 25 animations showing you the different uh, firework bursts and you can go ahead and watch these and pick the animation that you want. Then go to the website and download that number of animation. If you're using Redshift, there is also a Redshift version in the downloads. Make sure that you download the Redshift as well as the particles and the volumes. After you download them to your folder, you'll have something like this. Also, make sure to download the projectiles and then you can unzip them and you'll have these folders on your hard drive. So I'm gonna show you how to use number 13. So we have our projectile folders and we also have this folder, which includes all of these different options. So we have basically two setups. You can either do an individual burst or we have a scene that has all of the bursts pre-made so that there's an entire firework display using that number 13 animation. So I'm gonna show you how to do the individual burst first since it's pretty easy to start with and then we'll move on to the multiple burst. Also in your starter kit are some preset scenes. We have Octane and Redshift presets. So let's open the Redshift individual burst and we'll go over that. So here's what you'll have. And all you have to do is replace the volume and the individual burst, which is the particles. So to replace the volume, we'll just go to our volume here and we'll replace it by clicking this button and then navigating on your hard drive to the spot where you downloaded and unzipped them. And we'll go to the fireworks folder and under individual burst VDB, if you click that, you can click on the first one, hit open, hit no, and then it will replace them with that number 13. Then we have to go to the individual burst particles, and you can see at the end it says individual burst and it has a .rs. So we're gonna want to find that. We'll go to that same spot on our hard drive and look for the particle folder. And in here we have a ABC folder. You could just ignore that if you're using Redshift and instead go to this uh, sequence of .rs files. Click on the first one, hit open, uh, go ahead and hit no. And now we have our particles and we have our volume and everything set up. So if we scrub through here, you can see that our volume is moving. And if we go to our Redshift uh, render view, we'll go ahead and hit a render quick. So one thing I wanted to mention is that right now it says that we do not have the OCIO LUT. Right now we are using the OCIO, um, it's basically the ACES workflow if you're familiar with that. You can also change this to linear or you could change this to sRGB. You can play with um, the color management if you want to. But if you're interested in the ACES workflow, you can Google that and you can try to find that LUT, that uh, .ocio workflow and install that. But I'll let you guys figure that out on your own if you want to. Otherwise you can use one of these other color managements. All right, so we have our firework bursts and we have our smoke, everything's looking really good. And that is how you set up the individual burst. All right, so let's move on to the slightly more complicated uh, one, which is the uh, multiple burst here. So we also have this multiple burst preset scene. We'll open that up. And there's a little bit more going on here. We have all these elements that we're gonna have to set up. All right, so let's start with the three on the bottom, which are the projectiles. So we have the VDB projectile right here. So let's load that up. We'll go to that same spot on your hard drive where you downloaded everything. And we have three folders here called projectiles. Let's click on the one that says VDB and let's open up our VDB and hit no. All right, now let's uh, move on to the particles. We have projectile trails here. So let's load this up and that will be under projectiles trails. And let's make sure we click on the first one of the RS sequence and we'll hit that. And for the one above, it's just projectiles without the trails. So we'll go to projectiles and click the RS sequence, open that up. All right, now we have all of our projectiles which are gonna be shooting up from the ground. And now we have to attach the, um, the fireworks to the top of them. All right, so we have particles, color one, two, and three. Let's load those up. And everything's named very easily so you can find them quickly. Particles, color one. Let's load that into the RS sequence. Now we'll go to uh, particles color two, load that up, and particles color three. So you can see how quick it is to relink everything since they're all named appropriately. Now we're gonna go down to VDB one, two, and three. So we'll go back to VDB smoke number one, load that guy up, VDB smoke number two, 
and load that one up. And finally, VDB number three. And that will finish off the entire scene here and everything is set up perfectly. Here is our scene. You can see that we have our streamers coming up off the ground. We have our multiple uh, bursts on the top. So just by relinking a few things, you'll have a complete firework display and you'll be able to pick between all 25 of those different animations or you can mix and match to make your own custom firework display. So that is Fireworks, part of our VFX Elements lineup. I hope you all find it useful. Thanks for checking out Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time.